Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, before we get into the reading, as usual, I will be putting down some good old fashioned holy water. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, you know what time it is, don't you? Tarot's now in session. Most honorable judge, T.T. residing. We can all lay down. So we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always tell you, it could very well be your own energy. Mm, delicious one that. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will quit that shit together like we always do, baby. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Queen wants. Show me the energy of the person my. Okay. Six pen. Six pen. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Somebody's wanting to give you something here, Pisces. Mm-hmm. It's like per this person. Okay. Yeah, give me just a second. Let me get a protection stone, just in case. I don't think it's anything bad, but I just don't think I can be careful enough here. It looks like this person is deciding what they want. Possibly this person wants to see you, communicate to you. Uh... And the Ten Cups is showing up here, okay, for their subconscious energy. So that kind of is telling me that somebody sees your potential, okay. We just need to get right into this reading and just start clarifying the bejesus buttwinkles out of this. I want to talk to the Queen of Wands first and see why she is there here on the table. So why is the Queen of Wands here on the table? Why is she here? Okay, what's going on with the Queen of Wands and the Moon? Queen of Wands and the Moon. Okay. Alright, Pisces, give me just a second. Got this. Okay. So, usually we get the star, and then we get the Moon. So, this person um, feels like they're really certain about you. It's kind of what I'm getting. Somebody is really certain about you. So what, is, what are they so certain about here with Pisces? What are they so certain about with Pisces? What are they so certain about with Pisces? Okay, that went all the way over there. Give me just a second. What are they so certain about? Well... Okay, so this is like get this is like okay. I'm certain that me and Pisces can get through whatever problems that we've had, whatever conflicts that we've had. It has not always been perfect between the two of us, but I know that we can get past this. So they're wanting to get past whatever problems, whatever conflicts that you guys have had between the two of you. And it's like they're absolutely certain this is gonna happen. Okay. Well, that's good energy. I like that. Usually people are the opposite. But this person is not the opposite. Okay. So, let's see what this person is... Uh, what are they wanting to give Pisces here? What are they wanting to give Pisces? They're wanting to, they're wanting to end something here. What are they wanting to end? What are they wanting to end? They're, this is what they're wanting to end. They're, yeah, they're, they're like, 
they're giving you these ten swords over here. That's what it's tied to. Exactly. Wow. That's pretty impressive. So, yeah. They're like, oh, Pisces, let's, let's get over this rough patch that we've had. I want to put ten swords in it. So they possibly could give you an apology as well. And it's like, let's just move on. I want to have more success. I want to have more stability. And I want us to spend more time together. Okay. All right. Let's get a little bit deeper here on that Six of Wands. Yep. The Ace of Wands. Look at the girth on that one. Do you see that? That's a pretty thick. That's like a, it's like a, the, the backbone to the tailbone. Look at that. Were well, the tailbones called the coccyx? Is that correct? Yeah. The tailbone is called the coccyx. Did you guys know that? I can go through and name all the body parts, all the bones. I'm pretty good at that. That one was my favorite one when I was growing up in school. So, yeah, they're wanting to give you an olive branch. So this is an apology, or it could be something else. You know me, but I'm strongly getting an apology, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. I'm bad. I know it. I get it. I know I'm bad. I know I'm bad. So what's the three of cups here for this person's... Okay, let's just go for this. Three of cups. So, it looks like you two are spending time together. They're getting to know you more. Yeah, they're getting to know you more. But at the same rate, they get to know something here, and it's like they're, they get mentally exhausted. So what do, they, what do they get mentally exhausted about when they start to get to know Pisces more? <laughs> what do they get to know about Pisces? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow, Pisces. Get to know you, and they're like, "Oh, Pisces is a freaking a magician." So that you're like magic. Do you believe in magic? Uh, uh, uh. So maybe that I feel like they learn that you're an intuitive person, and that kind of like messes up their psyche here. So it's like that messes with their psyche a little bit. So why is this person worried about Pisces intuition? And why is that why is Pisces intuition affect their psyche? Let's talk. Why does Pisces intuition affect this person's psyche? Are you draining their intuition? Are you an energy vampire, Pisces? Yeah. So, they're in two minds about you and your intuition here. I feel like this person is going to throw some kind of energy block so that you can't read their energy. I don't know why. Why would this person throw an energy block towards Pisces? I mean, I know why people do that. Uh-huh. 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 Because they don't want you to see them for who they really are. And who they really are? Ooh. There's, there's somebody here that is the come and go. Okay? I, I'm just telling you. So they're trying to throw you a freaking... After they figure out you're some kind of wizard... Okay? I, I'm serious. I'm not joking you. You guys are getting to know each other. They find out you're a fucking wizard. And they're like, oh, fuck. That just mentally fucked my brain. I'm going to throw the, the psychic block from Pisces. Because I don't want Pisces to see that I'm the come and go. Oh, no, Pisces. But it looks like you're figuring this shit out. Oh, ho, 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 shit. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Don't you mess with the Pisces, guys. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. So they're picking a path. We know what path it is. What? I know. Okay. This is the path of surrendering to what? What are they going to surrender to here? Okay. And what do they want to surrender to with these eight wands? Look at all these bones everywhere. Oh, they want, they're going to surrender. They want to surrender to their fears here. Yeah. Oh, shit. So, they're wanting to get to Pound Town City and pet that kitty. Is what that's telling me. So they're worried that this shit is going to come back up again. So they're trying to give you ten swords and end this shit, right, over there. Because they pull out the good old-fashioned skull bone, a.k.a., you know, that's a tailbone. Like, you can see it's the backbone with the tailbone. This is the backbone. This is the coccyx down here, okay? Oh, shit, Pisces. So you're figuring somebody is just a player. Look at this. Look at this table. Do you see everything that's on this table? Look at all these wands. And then the swords. Holy shit. We've only got one suit of cups here. There is no emotion here. None whatsoever, Pisces. So if you're expecting some kind of love confession... You're wrong. Sorry to deliver the bad news, guys. I know. It's not always Rainbow Kitty Unicorn Stardust Pixie Kitty Boom Boom Fairy Leprechaun Troll Land, but it is just not. And this is tired. Look at the bailiff. Look at him. He's like, oh, mama. I am just, this is, uh, this, I'm asleep, mama. I sleep, mama. Yeah, he's asleep. He said, this is too much. So you're figuring this shit out, Pisces. And if you haven't figured it out, well, I just helped you. I'm going to leave this mother trucker here. Terrell's adjourned. Nice work, Pisces.